Hello there, everybody. My name is Michael Gray, and this is my speedrun for Nancy Drew, The Secret of Shadow Ranch. In a speedrun, you try to beat a game as quickly as possible. Welcome I will be playing this game, game on Senior Detective Ranch. Mode. To start, dear Hannah. Well, I, made it to I have my Ranch. stopwatch so here, so it will tell well. me how long well, I've been playing this game. Been I'm hoping to beat this game in under two hours. Hopefully under an hour and a half. I don't think I can beat this game in under an hour. I'm not sure that's possible. But I have a strategy written out here. I'm basically going to be uh, following the strategy. The first part of the game is basically going to be a bunch of conversations. I'm going to talk to people for like the first 10 minutes or so, and then I'm going to do the chores, and then I'm going to go outside and do other things. So I start off by calling the Raleigh's, and you'll notice in this game, whenever you make a phone call, the phone rings two or three times before the person picks up. Now, I have a little uh, skip cheat, which will allow you to skip the phone ringing. Just shut the phone as soon as you uh, select the number, and that, that will make the person automatically pick up on the first ring. It, it only saves like two or three seconds of uh, the phone ringing, but, you know, this is a speedrun. Seconds count in speedruns. How could I not make a fuss? There was a rattlesnake in our bedroom, for Pete's sake. Did you say rattlesnake? I told Ed to leave it alone and let one of the hands get it out of there, but no, Ed started poking at it with my yard stick, and all of a sudden it left up and... So, dead. with this speed run, well, I basically well, played through the game over and over and over, and over again. I used my stopwatch on these conversations, and that's how I figured out the fastest way through every single conversation. So sometimes you have options like these where, no matter which option you pick, you're going to be told the exact same thing. And when that happens, just pick the shorter option, you know? Pick the thing which takes Nancy two seconds to say, rather than the thing which takes her five seconds to say. Now, with that option, I think th they say something different depending on which option you take. So, in that case, you don't want to pick the, the sentence which is shorter for Nancy to say. You want to pick the sentence which leads to the shorter conversation. I'll, I'll point that out with other conversations. We've got plenty of conversations to go through. So you need to call the Raleigh's in order to talk to Tex. If you try to visit Tex without having called the Raleigh's, the area is locked. Nancy says it's locked and she can't go through the door. And we need to talk to Tex to learn about Shorty's chores. The nice one? The Raleigh said they were going to be inviting some young ladies out here. I take it you're one of them. Yes, I'm Nancy Drew. And you are? I'm the head wrangler. So here I'm going to save time by skipping the conversation about the phantom horse. How do I prove to you I know what I'm doing? So that's why it's a time saver to not talk about the phantom horse. I don't think Tex says much about the phantom horse, but it takes Nancy like 10 seconds to talk about it, so... Oh, Tex is giving a lecture. Something, can I just ask you? Nope. When you're done riding, you're gonna dismount, hook your horse up, take the saddle. And here with the ending part of the conversation, it's faster to ask what the horse's name is. Otherwise, you have a conversation option of Nancy saying, Bob? Who's Bob? Or she says, Oh, what horse do you want me to ride? So she like asks about the horse twice. So it's faster to ask about the horse the first time around. And as you can see here, the, the the phantom horse conversation is still there because I skipped it. Talk to you later. Just stay out of trouble. Okay, now I'm going straight to Shorty. Well, hello there. Shh. 
Shorty has some chores for me to do. Hey, you must be Nancy. I'm the cook, Shorty Thurmond. Welcome to Shadow Ranch. Come on over here and tell me about yourself. You have talked to the Raleighs, right? Beth said something about a phantom horse. Do you know what she was talking about? Sure do. See, I was just about to crawl into bed last night. So with this sudden, next conversation uh, option, both options are basically the exact same thing. They probably take like half a second each, so it doesn't really matter which one you pick. Dirk Valentine? Dirk Valentine was an outlaw around Dirk Valentine? A phantom horse? Uh, they they both take about the same amount of time for Nancy to say. And Shorty says the exact same thing no matter which one you pick. Ouch. Okay, so now the conversation gets easy. You always pick the first option for the rest of the conversation. Okay, that makes things easy on me. All I know is Ed Raleigh sees the horse and what happens less than two minutes later... He gets bit by a rattlesnake. All right, so let me read what I'm going to be doing next because I'm actually doing things next. I go outside, I flip around, grab the vegetable basket, uh, I chop firewood, and then I'm going to get the wood by the watershed, and then go to Dave. Okay, okay, so I, I can remember that. Basket, a uh, basket, um, chopping wood, um, the watershed, and uh, Dave. And of course, Dave is going to have a, a longish conversation because hey, it's Dave. The Raleigh's wanted to have a cookout tonight, and by golly, we're going to have a cookout no matter who is or isn't here. Well, I'd better get going. Don't be a stranger. So we have to talk to Shorty about everything, unlike, you know, Tex, we were able to skip that one conversation with him about the phantom horse. Shorty just loves to talk, so... <laughs> At least he admits that he loves to talk. Uh, let's see, this here, that there. Nancy Paul Bunyan Drew. Okay, turn left. Grab that now to Dave. You talk to the Raleigh's? Uh let me see. Option one. Do you think Ed's gonna be alright? He'll be okay. I was not prepared to start that conversation. Okay. Option one, option one, then option two. Did you see it too? It was the strangest thing I've ever seen. Guess you're gonna be asking me a lot of questions, huh? I'm sorry. Am I bugging you? The Raleigh said you were a detective. Amateur detective. It's just kind of a hobby. I'm gonna be honest with you, man. You want to talk to Dave sure after talking to, to the Raleigh's because the Raleigh's that way you can ask him about the key. What happened last night? Well, this is not a good time. To so I skipped the conversation about the rattlesnake, the which you might have noticed earlier. Time saver. And the roll top desk, which is locked. They said you had the key? Sure do. They gave me their key ring at the hospital. All right, Great. Next, Thanks. I'm going to grab to to um, a piece of wood by the, the chicken coop door. The then um, one near Dave. She doesn't like the Raleigh's. How do you know? It's just the feeling I get when I talk to her, that's all. I'll let you get back to work. Take care. Whatever his work is. He just hangs by the chicken coop all day long. Okay, Bess and George. One of the final conversations we have in this section, I believe. Yes, the airport in Phoenix? We're at the airport in Omaha, Nebraska. Our plane has so you want to pick the first option three times, and then uh, the final option. for hours. Hours? You're kidding. Who knows what's really going on? Yeah. So I'm going to pick the vegetables after this. I'm going to do a minor time saver. I'm going to look at the vegetables instead of going forward and then looking at the vegetables. It doesn't save a lot of time, but it's a minor time saver. He all right? He will be. Right now he's in the hospital. He'll probably be there for a day or two. Aunt Bet's staying with him. Oh my gosh! And apparently a phantom horse showed up at just about the same time as that snake. A phantom horse? Of all the times to get stranded in some stupid airport. Look, you just better keep us posted, Nancy Drew. That's all I gotta say. We're so bored. George just bought a book on 19th century clothing and accessories. 
Yeah, you're supposed to call George to learn about that, but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna skip that. Gonna skip that puzzle entirely, which is also a time saver. I didn't call you guys, you called me. Seriously though, I mean, they were the ones who called me, right? Alright, so I turn around, it's so I get these vegetables and the shorty, final piece of wood is next to the door. Let me see, what am I doing? I'm going in here. This is for the fire. And you absolutely have to look at the clock here to solve That's that puzzle. Where's my key? Here it is. You have to get everything except the invoice, which is in the lower left. Minor time saver by uh, skipping the invoice. It's about Mariazzi. Okay, so now that I, I looked at these things, I can actually solve this puzzle. Um, oh man, what's the solution? Wasting time here. It's, uh, it's 12, 2, and 7. Sorry. Uh, you know, I, I get so focused on what I have to do and how quickly I do things that I, I, I tend to forget forget I'm doing things. As, as usual, I like vexing your... Thank you, Dirk. Random puzzle. Solution changes every single time. Ah, oh, man. No way... No way to beat that puzzle besides for getting lucky, and you can skip reading the book, the uh, journal belonging to um, the sheriff. Pick those vegetables for me yet? You betcha. Good for you. Now, second thing I need you to do for me is take this, go out to the chicken coop and fill it up with eggs. Just be careful of that basket. It's kind of old. And don't forget to build me that campfire like I asked. You got it. If you build the Got campfire... No, oh, no. Oh, oh, I am messing up in the speed run. Okay, well, uh, um, let me actually do this, okay? So you could build the campfire before talking to Shorty, but that is not much of a time saver. Oh, dear. Come on, work with me here. There we go. And this puzzle can be kind of a pain. But it's a time saver to actually solve the puzzle at this point, uh, you know, instead of actually going to the chicken coop and finding, oh wait, this thing is broken. Fix it before you learn it's broken. Oh, that's not right. Oh, upside down. Oh, jeez, man. This looks also uh, like that. There we go. In junior mode, we have more of those uh, pointed ends. But I'm not playing on junior mode. The reason I'm playing on senior mode as opposed to a junior mode is because it's slightly faster with some of the clues. Because they don't give you some of the clues. There. Am I good or what? So because they skipped giving you clues in senior mode, you uh, actually uh, have a minor time saver there. Probably a couple of minutes worth, because lots of those clues are uh, given on the phone. Okay, I think these eggs are uh, always in the same place. Stalls two and four here. And uh, bottom row, left two stalls. One egg is with the chicken of doom, meaning the yellow, I mean the, the white chicken who will kill you if you make a mistake. Wonder who wrote this. And now I can start the fire. So far, so good. That should do it. There, one extremely well-built I'm gonna skip like Shorty's compliment myself? here by backing away. If you hang around, Shorty's like, good job, Nancy, with that campfire. So it's just a time saver to just back away before Shorty can compliment you, because really, who wants Shorty's compliments? Oh, oh, come on, game. Game is not being friendly to me. Okay. 
Visited the watershed, which gives the Chicken of Doom enough time to leave. Which means now I have all six eggs, I'm going back to Shorty. Got those eggs for me? Right here. Good for you. Anything I can do for you now? Do you think I could get a canteen of water from you? Got one right here. You're good to go. Well, I'd better get going. Pleasure talking to you. Hooray, hooray. Okay, so chores are finished. Only took me 15 minutes. So it takes about 15 minutes from the start of the game to the end of the chores. Hooray. May I go writing now? Yep, if you got everything I told you you need, and you think you know your stuff when it comes to horses, old Bob's all yours. Talk to you later. No hurry. All right, so I need to pick up everything here. Pick up the gear, pick up the hat. Now I go outside and uh, I have the horse there? quiz. The horse quiz is the same every single time you play the game, so hey, that, that makes it easy. Just pick the right answers and you're done. Hmm. Climb on top of the horse to start the quiz. Ready for some questions? I think so. Where's the horse's hocks? Should pick the second answer, that was slightly faster. That's one out of ten. Ask me something else. Bottom of the hoof, five feet. On the bottom of its hook. Two out of ten. Got a long way to go. And gated and horse. How tall is a horse that's 15 hands? Five feet. Three down, seven to go. Ask me something else. What kind of a horse is a Paso Fino? A gated horse. That's four right. Ask me something and else. Colicking. How a horse is colicking. It keeps lying down, then standing up. Black that's points, five. nice purse. Ask me something else. What's the difference between a bay and a chestnut? A bay has black points. Bingo. That was number six. Ask me something else. What tribe read the first Appaloosa? Next is the going next to be feet, cinch, the and then a uh, female Ask horse. Ask me something else. What part of a horse is most likely to be hurt when it founders? Its feet. Eight right. Just two to go. Ask me something else. What part of the saddle should you always check before you head out on the trail? The cinch. This here's your final question. All right. What is a mule? The offspring of a female horse and a male donkey. Well, you answered all the questions right, and I can tell. Like, what do these questions have to do with Nancy's ability to ride the horse to a, a nearby shop? You know, couldn't you have given her lessons, which are I don't know, a bit more practical texts? You can kiss your cowgirl days at Shadow Ranch goodbye. Anyway, whatever. We don't need him. Okay, Bob. What do you say? Forget tax. We're going to marry Yazis now. So I'm going to go to Mary's shop, uh, I'm going to open the trunk and get the watch, then we have to look at petroglyphs to start a petroglyph conversation to open up brand new areas. That trunk looks really old. Okay, I know the solution to this one, 4911. I have this one memorized. Two, three, four. I got the trunk open! Great, thank you. Go ahead and take something from it. You deserve a reward. And Mary talks to you as if you had already talked to her about the, the trunk, which you, we did not because we're, we're cheaters. Bingo! Who <laughs> solved the puzzle early. 11, 7, 5, 11, 7, 9, 11, 7, 3, 11, 7, 1, 3, 11, 7, 1, 5, 9, 3. Green bottle under... Hmm, wonder what that means. Okay, looked at petroglyphs to start that puzzle. I need to look at Charlena's thing to start her puzzle, and here's an actual puzzle. Okay, let's see if I have this memorized. Down, down, right, right, right. And I go left and just down all the way and right all the way. I kind of wish I would be able to control this with the uh, the control buttons up, down, left, right, but I have to I have to use this button, these buttons. I like this music though; it's great music. Okay, the final one is the difficult one. Okay, okay, up, up, right, right, down, down, right, left. Oh, oh dear. Up, up, right, right, 
down, down. Okay, right to get the first coyote, then left, then up, and then left. And right to get the second coyote. Now both coyotes are following me. I can just have a clear run to the exit, and I get that thing. Alrighty, perfect. Cool. An old token or something. Hi, can I help you? Hi, are you Mary Yazzie? That's me. I didn't hear a car. Did you hike in or come by horse? I rode here. I'm Nancy Drew. So where are you staying? With Ed and Elizabeth Raleigh. In fact, I have something for you. Bet wanted me to give you this. Great. I want to buy a small piece of property from them. It must be their response. Ooh, ba -doo, ba -doo. Bad news. This is they basically going to be conversations office. here. Well, Sorry. I guess that's that. But as long as you're here, look around. All the jewelry you see, all the. We have a conversation with Mary, bottom. and then a conversation with Charlena, and, and then you know I'm going to head to a uh, so trail's end because hey, why not? Okay, so this is a conversation. Like I said, we had to look at petroglyphs to start this conversation so we can learn about Kruger Bend. A lot of them were probably made by the Anasazi. They lived in the area until about 700 years ago when they just suddenly picked up and left. It was great talking to you. Ride safely. Yeah, so now I'm just going to go to the trail stop, check out Zebra Rock um, and Charlie's Grave. I think you have to do it. I'm not 100% sure if you have to do this in order to um, complete the game, but one time I played the game and I got horribly stuck and I had no idea what to do next, and that was one of the things I did, so I'm like, mm, maybe, maybe that's important. I don't know, it brought me good luck the one time, so I will presume that means it always brings me good luck. Okay, Rattler under, um, that place. And let's call... Let's call Charlena. Charlena Purcell's office. Hi. Even though I'm not supposed to do, uh, conversations here, you'll notice I did a little trick to, uh, get access in an area with no signal. she knows so much about the history of Arizona, I thought maybe she could answer some questions for me. Questions concerning... Well, I came across a very old trunk that might... Alright, that's basically going to be it. Uh, I mean, you have to talk to Charlena here, because we have to talk to her later. So that's that's basically why I'm talking to uh, her now. I kind of wish there was a way to skip this, because it's sort of a long conversation. So, to skip through this conversation, don't talk about the holes in the trunk, just talk about the picture. Describe the image. It's this kind of abstract design made up of hearts and doves and the initials E-H and A-H. E-H would be Eldridge Humber and A-H would be Abigail Humber, Francis Humber's grandparents. The picture no doubt commemorates their wedding day, which was April 9th, 1811. Why do you know so much about the Humbers? I've been running across fascinating tidbits concerning the Humber family and stashing them away for years. So we'll we'll I we'll, we'll talk to Charlena later on. I'll I'll talk more about her when uh, when that actually happens. Yes, okay, so right now it's looking about um, day one, uh, twenty to thirty minutes long is about how long day one is going to be. So maybe I will be able to actually beat this game in uh, under an hour and a half. <laughs> we can only hope. So interested in the Humbers. Knowing more about them and what happened in the past may help me figure out something that's going on in the present. I'm kind of a detective. That makes two of us. I'll be waiting to hear from you. So she says she's waiting to hear us talk to her, you know, about what's inside the trunk, but we never do. When you call her back, she doesn't ask, Hey, what was inside the trunk? Nancy never tells Charlena what was inside the trunk. I don't know. I don't know why. Maybe both of them just forgot about it. 
Okay, now we need to get rid of the gear. Which knocks over this card, which makes Tex look suspicious. Oh no! Oh no! And now it's even. Oh no! Bad yodeling! Bad yodeling! Even worse! Yeah, it's just it's just a cookout, shorty. You, you don't need to you cook like something super day fancy. In and day out, I cast my culinary pearls before ungrateful, uncultured swine. Well, I'll show them. I write a best-selling cookbook. That's what I do. Then I get my own. Hmm. Well, show. the fire's looking nice. Kind of surprised that you know um, nothing has burned. Uh, yeah. All, all of all of the branches are still there in perfect shape. Oh, here's the glowing horse. Hey, glowing horse. And water shoots up for 30 feet. Oh my, oh my. Craziness. And uh, it's going to skip ahead to day two. 26 minutes, 30 seconds. Okay, so that's how long it took me to get through the first day of the game. 26 minutes, 30 seconds. Just as the horse was galloping away. Oh my, this is awful. Maybe Shorty was right. Maybe that horse is a bad omen. That's what someone wants you to think, Aunt Bet. What do you mean? It's possible that while everyone's attention was on that horse, someone sabotaged the pump house. Why on earth would someone sabotage the pump house? Someone may be trying to chase you off the ranch. But why? That I don't know. Yet. You don't think Tex or Shorty or Dave is somehow involved, do you? It's possible, but I just don't know yet. Oh, All right, so next I'm going to talk to Shorty. Uh, well, Shorty's not here, so I'm going to get Shorty to show up, and then I'll talk to Shorty and get chores from him, and then I'm going to sneak in uh, through the hidden passageway. Sounds like fun, right? So that way I don't have to go into the house through the porch. I'll go into the house through the hidden passageway. Hooray! Tell her about the storm. Tell me about the what? The storm. Yes, you need to be careful about these storms. The storms which are unimportant and never occur in this game, so why do we even mention them? No, seriously, why do they mention the storms? The storms aren't important. Oh, by the way, if you've never played this game before, uh, you probably shouldn't be watching this, because you, you will either have no idea what's going on, or I will just spoil everything for you. Mineral deposit? Can I help you find something? No, actually, I pretty much found everything on my own. For your information, I got those maps because I was hoping there might be a long lost gold mine or two around here. But like most of my get rich quick ideas, it didn't pan out. Apparently, there's no gold left in them thar hills, or silver, or copper, or anything else. Now, I don't ever want to catch you in my stuff again. Yes? I'd like to apologize. Just proves we're birds of a feather. I've been known to go poking through other people's stuff myself. Got any chores you want me to do? Do exactly what you did for me yesterday, and I'll be forever grateful. All right, Start this is going to be somewhat tricky. Baskets outside. Well, I There's a rattlesnake going. outside, a so I'm I'm actually going to skip the rattlesnake uh, using the trick I did earlier, which is um, instead of going forward, I I click on those things right there. And then those are all both ripe runs, uh, ripe ones. One, two, three, four, five, one, two. Uh, let's see, I think Shorty... It's so hot, I should get these vegetables into Shorty right away. Shorty gives you one mistake. Other than that, you know, if you make two mistakes, Shorty's going to get mad at you. Hi, are you the sheriff? 
Yes, ma'am. My name is Nancy Drew. I'm staying at Shadow Ranch. Oh, yeah? I spent a good part of last night out okay, there. Okay, call the I sheriff. Never got a chance to talk to and you. I'm going There's to get Arrowhead... Would it be all uh, right an arrowhead the inside the pump? pump? Sure. I'm all done in there. Should have had my deputy take that sign down. Mind my asking why you want to look around? Wait a minute. Dave told me about you. You're the girl detective. Amateur detective. I don't know. Dave seemed to be real impressed with you. In more ways than one, I might add. Thanks for your help. My pleasure. Why is Dave impressed with Nancy? She did nothing impressive. Uh Okay, so, like um, the pipe was pretty badly corroded. yeah, that pipe caused the 30-foot, uh, water fountain last night. That, that small little thing here. And Dave! Dave? Long well, conversation, where Dave! From? Where did you come from? Well, see, I just, I mean, I'm looking for Dirk Valentine's treasure. What do you know about it? See, my great-aunt Ellie was Francis Humber's cousin. When she died, she left me a bunch of stuff, including an old letter she'd gotten from Francis. In the letter, Francis said that Valentine had hidden a bunch of loot somewhere and wanted Francis to find it by following the clues he left for her. Francis was real smart, see? Loved puzzles. Played the piano pretty good, too. Anyway, after Valentine met his end, Francis was too brokenhearted to care about some treasure. She told Aunt Ellie that if she could yeah, find it, yeah, yeah. I also found this picture. That's Francis's father, Sheriff Merrill Humber. There's something written on the back. Stairs to blah, cellar. Blah. That's Francis's handwriting. Ooh, you need to trim Looks your like fingernails the there, buddy. Really, I really. I was hoping that the treasure might be under the stairs in here, but no such luck. I didn't know this place had a cellar. As far as I know, no one does. Okay, I still have three more things to pick here in the conversation. The Raleigh's never mentioned a secret door. The Raleigh's don't know. I was afraid that if I told them, they'd... See, my brother's dead broke. No job, health's bad. I was thinking if I could just find the treasure... I understand, but now I'm in kind of an awkward position. I know, and I'll tell them, I swear, as soon as they come back. They got enough on their minds right now. What about all the accidents that have been happening around here lately? I don't know anything about that horse or any of the other stuff that's been going on around here, I swear. Now, if you'll pardon me, I need to tend to my chores. I do wonder what his chores no, are, because he spends all day in front of the chicken coop. Maybe the message on the pictures refers not to the stairs to the den, but to these stairs. Alrighty, this is a puzzle. Let's see if I can remember the solution. Uh, let's see. Right down, so I can move that right and that up. So I can move these up, and then this one right, and then this one right, this one up, that one right, got the bottle. There's something inside. I am glad that you are getting... Remember when... I still don't know how... I'm not sure if you have to read all three letters, but hey, it only it only it only takes a little bit, so I, I did it. Looks like I'm back in the den. And hey, I saved myself the trip back inside. Pick those vegetables for me yet? You betcha. Good for you. Now, if you just fill that egg basket for me again, we'll be all set. All right, go away. Well, I'd better get going. Drop by any time. So the eggs, um, the bottom row, the middle two in the bottom row there. Ooh, whoops. I meant to have a conversation with Dave right there. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll do that in a minute. Not in a minute, couple seconds. Hello, Nancy. Guess I'm gonna be blushing every time I see you now. Don't worry about it. I've been known to do a few sneaky type things from time to time myself. Actually... I'm kind of glad you came by. Something I need you to do for me, if you wouldn't mind. I thought you were busy doing your chores, Dave. Ever since I got here. Okay, well, he's Why setting I up a puzzle. A fence, puzzle which is going to be at the end of day number two. But it's not here yet, and the Raleigh's just called and asked me to run an errand for them tonight. So if you could keep an eye out for that chicken wire and patch that hole as soon as it gets here, the chickens and I'd really appreciate it. Are you going to tell me how to patch it? It's just common sense. You'll manage. Just be sure to wear gloves. I'll leave my pliers out. If you have to do it at night, that's okay. There should be plenty of moonlight. You'll be able to see fine. Just make sure it gets done. Because if it doesn't, the coyotes are going to have themselves one heck of a banquet. 
and you're going to be in a lot of hot water. No problem. Now, is there something I can do for you? And uh, now we're learning about a brand new location, which is going to become important. Probably the one over in Dry Creek. It's a ghost town now. But the jailhouse and a couple other old buildings are still standing. At least they were last I saw. Is it far from here? On your way to Mariazzi's, look for the trail on your left that heads towards Shadow Mountain and stay on it till you get there. It's about an hour and a half's ride. This got something to do with the treasure? It might. Well, let me know if you need anything else. I'll let you get back to work. Appreciate it. Oh, boy. Okay, getting a little worn out. But I, I'm going to keep no going. For me. Right here. 35 right minutes here. in. Okay, so now we're going to start to cooking. One more thing. It's Tex's birthday. The Raleigh's told me to make him a cake. Now, if I make it, he'll throw a fit. But if you make it, Nobody else mentions Tex's birthday. So I mean, he did get the birthday the letter from his sister, so I, I guess that I makes sense. He got the birthday card, so the but the the already made. you think somebody would mention that, hey, by the way, Tex, you you're older you're now. Good. Maybe that's why he's so grumpy. It's because well, he's old. I'd better get going. Pleasure talking to you. I mean, he's not that old, right? But he, he's still kind of grumpy because, you know, doesn't like to be reminded about how old he is. All right, just follow the instructions which are on that piece of paper. Really, really not hard to screw this one up. Well, actually, kind of easy to screw it up, but um, yeah, I don't know. It, it, as long as you have the instructions written down, they're super easy. That's why I'm doing. So three things of baking powder. Three things of vanilla, then I'm gonna have five things of milk, and then five thing, uh, seven things of sugar. So lots of sugar in this cake. I guess it's because, you know, Tex is getting old, he needs extra sugar. So that was three, four, I've already lost count. I think that was three, four, five, six, seven. I should have paid more attention. I hope I didn't screw up. Okay, middle pan, uh, bake on medium for 45 minutes. This is where it's easy to screw up, because it's like, how are you supposed to figure that out? Perfect. Okay, looks like I did well. Maybe I I should put that icing sugar. What are these? On it. I made you that flour Francis mentioned in her recipe. I cut all the pieces out of Marzipan using her old forms, but I'll be darned if I can figure out how the pieces go. Come on, piece, fit inside. There we go. Don't know why that piece is a little tricky to get in place. This piece can also be tricky. Nice music though, I, I like that music, ranch music. It's a tulip, what's that? That's food coloring so you can paint that marzipan flower. Miss Nancy. Ah, no, 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 no. I'm not well, talking to you. I'm never time. talking to you again. Wait, wait. Yeah, I am. Okay, so to Tex, to Tex. Tex is going to be a jerk and give me even more chores. Like, I haven't been doing enough chores already, and then we're going to have more chores after that. Are you still here? You sound surprised. You and your friends, if they ever show up, you ain't going to last more than three days out here. Why do you say that? City folk can't take living out here. Too rugged, too much work, too dangerous. Is it okay if I go riding? Nope. Feed the chickens and the horses in the corral first. Could be fatal if you mess up, so don't. Talk to you later. No hurry. So you can't actually trigger that conversation until you have done all of Shorty's chores. If you try to do that conversation without having done Shorty's chores, Tex is going to be all, ugh, need to do shortest chores first. 
I'm tired of hearing him complain about how he has too much work to do. So yeah, you have to do Shorty's chores before you can do Texas things. Can't do both at the same time. It would be nice if I could okay, feed the chickens, chickens at the same time as I take their eggs, but no, no, no. And seriously, who feeds the horses when, when uh, Nancy is not here? follow the instructions. I, I've got Hi them all there. written down. You two aren't too hmm. shabby looking it, either. It's not, it's not difficult at all. I mean, it's a good puzzle, you know, figuring it out the first time is great, but once you've already got the, uh, once you've already got it figured out, it's like, oh, it's just following the, just follow the instructions and like, ah. It's just like cooking, except not as much fun because you don't get to have delicious cake. So let me see, that was, uh, that was Ace that I'm cooking for. Okay, and finally I'm gonna cook for my horse, Bob. I like Bob. Oh, let's spin around this way. It takes a while to spin around no matter which direction you're spinning around in. to presume that Tex, uh, Tex just doesn't feed the horses, that, I mean, there are more horses than just these three, right? He's complaining about it earlier that he had to bring them in, so where is he bringing them in from? Does he not feed the horses in the place that he's bringing them in from? So I'm gonna do time saver, not put the bucket back, that's a time saver. Okay, we're getting up on uh, 45 minutes, which is about you know halfway through my estimated time. So we'll we'll see. We'll see how realistic my um, uh, idea of beating this game in under an hour and a half is. Okay, these okay, challenges. If you click too soon, you knock the barrels and then um, Tex gets mad at you. Should be perfect. 9.5, how about that? You did it. Now we do the uh, Lariat challenge. All right, good, perfect. Gotcha. Gotcha. Perfect. Yes. Okay, one more. There we go. Yep. Okay, uh, we needed to do this in order to get the lariat, and so we could go riding. But there's still hope. This little vacation of yours ain't over with yet. May I go riding again? Yep. 
Talk to you later. Yahoo. Oh, you're a cowboy. Still don't understand why Nancy had to go inside to get Delirious. You think she could have, you know, gone uh, and gotten the lariat outside while while Tex was outside watching her? Okay, now I go to Cougar Bend and I have the Petroglyph Challenge. Oh wow, Mariazzi, huh? When you know. Okay, three arrowheads here. Gotta remember to get all three of those arrowheads. Oh, oh, okay, we have officially passed 45 minutes. 45 minutes, oh boy. Arrowhead. Petroglyph on rock. Petroglyph on here. Petroglyph on there. Arrowhead. Really no way to speed up this particular challenge. Word, this thing, that thing. Sorry if it gets boring when I don't talk. Um, I'll, uh, you know, I'm trying to focus on the game. This can be a difficult challenge. I mean, it's not like it's the worst challenge ever, but, you know, it can be difficult. So let's see, two more. V for Valentine, no doubt. And wasn't there a petroglyph somewhere? There we go. No, arrowhead, right. So this is why we had to uh, call Charlena Purcell. It's so we we could call her again and learn who Pappy is. So that's why I had to go through that huge conversation with Charlena on day one. There is no way to skip that conversation. May I please speak to Miss Purcell? She told me to put you right through. She even told me to make sure you didn't have to listen to that recording again. You really raised I feel kind of uh, bummed out about that. You know, it, we don't. We can solve the puzzle on day one without calling her, but we can't solve the puzzle on day two without calling her. We absolutely have to call her to learn about Kashmir. Which is ironic, because by the time Dirk was arrested, his father had pretty much disowned him out of shame. Talk to you soon. You do that. All right, so that's why we went there first. Wanted to learn about, wanted to, uh, wanted to find out about, uh, Cappy's keys and Pappy. So Pappy is Kashmir and we are going to have a puzzle. Uh, let's see. I'm going to the ghost town. I'm going to get two arrowheads there. One is by the, uh, outhouse, which might, might be protected by a scorpion. A scorpion sometimes appears, sometimes doesn't. So I'm going to to start off by checking there. Hopefully it will not appear. Probably just a bird. I don't know, Nancy. I think that's wishful thinking on your part. It's not a bird. It's probably a balloon. The scorpion. Okay. Okay, okay. Well, no big loss. I can still get the uh, crank. And Sheriff. Hernandez. Hello, 
Sheriff. It's Nancy Drew again. Hello, Nancy. What can I do for you? I noticed that you put a lock on one of the buildings in the ghost town. Yeah, the support beams in there are about to go. I was afraid some dumb tourist did knock into one of them and bring the thing down, and I'd wind up having to dig them out. If I'm real careful, do you think I could have the combination? It's just an old shack. There's nothing to see in there. Yeah, not much to do after this. Uh, you know, this is basically uh, finishing everything up, and then we'll be done with day number two. Hooray! Extremely careful. I promise. Let's see. Where did I put that combination? Nine two seven four. Nine two seven four. Thanks for your help. My pleasure. Hey, wait. Did the combination change? It totally changed. Why? Why was that the case? Okay, we have to take a look at this thing. An electrician's manual. Wonder what that's doing here. I think we Looks might like want to look at that. Don't know if you have to. Looks like I need to but cashmere. Okay. Um. Start with this one. Then that one. Then R. Okay, and then um. C A. Uh, do, 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 do. M here. Okay, there we go. And like I said, you can't solve that puzzle without having talked to uh, Charlena. So that is why you need to talk to Charlena. There's no way to solve the puzzle without talking to her. So we have to suffer through those phone conversations with Charlena. Okay, and um, now Mr. Uh, Mr. Scorpion is gone, right? Scorpion gone? Scorpion gone. Let me get this thing here. I'll bet Dirk Peston made this, which means I better not go messing around in there. And now that I have all ten arrowheads, I can pick up those... Uh, you know, I didn't pay attention to the note that Dirk, Dirk left. I basically, you know, backed away from it as quickly as possible. But that's important. It's important. It tells us that we need to get the, we need to get these. Tuning forks. Maybe Dirk meant tuning forks. Hi, can I help you with something? I noticed some tuning forks over there. Would it be okay if I borrowed them for a while? Tell you what, if you go out and find me ten arrowheads for this display I'm working on, I'll give them to you for free. You can put them in this. I already have ten arrowheads, see? So you do. It looks like I only need nine to finish this display. So here, keep this arrowhead. Thanks for your help, Nancy. Those tuning forks are all yours. It was great talking to you. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you, Mary. And escape. Okay, cool. Okay, so this should be the end of this. This should be the end of day number two. Okay, uh, coming up on like fifty-five minutes. Okay. I wonder why we can't go inside Was any of the other condemned buildings. I guess this is the only one that matters. Tuning forks. We're spelling out the name Francis. I have to wait to hear that. Now go. Okay. Basically ignored that message there. It's about Zebra Rock, so we're, we're gonna go there. It rocks later, though. Now, now it's the end of the day. Maybe not my favorite puzzle ever here, this one. Um, looks like Mary Yazzie and Tex? Mary Yazzie and Tex? What are they doing together? That's, that's silliness. Um... Yeah, we have we have to uh, go inside here to put the equipment away, and then the next thing we're going to do is go back here to get the equipment, which which is just like what? 
craziness. So yeah. Tex must have turned the horses out for the night. I like how this place is equally well lighted during the day and at night time. Okay, let's see if we can solve this puzzle without too much pain. That doesn't go there. Ah, uh, that doesn't, that doesn't go. look right. N no, Nancy, I was just putting it down. That looks right. Does that go? No, it doesn't. That doesn't look right. That doesn't look right. This can be hard that or easy. Right. Uh, you know, just I guess it just depends on if you're lucky or not. That doesn't go there. That obviously doesn't go there. Um... That doesn't go there. Don't worry, it gets easy. I promise. It gets easier. I promise. Yay. Yay. Okay. That doesn't go there. Nancy. Nancy, Nancy, Nancy. That doesn't go there. Doesn't? But that looked awesome. That looks right. Okay. Okay. Fine. Fine. I, I, I trust you, Nancy. Um... <laughs> <laughs> really one of the puzzles I should have practiced better. Do, 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 do. Really, 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 really should have practiced this more. Let's not go there. This that there? Goes here. This here? No, it doesn't. This here. That looks right. Yay. That looks right. Okay, perfect. There. Sorry, coyotes. No chicken dinner for you tonight. Oh my gosh. My gloves. Okay, it looks glowing. like we shouldn't have that too much trouble with day town. number three. Haven't haven't really prepped this uh, day number three as much because I thought, hey, it's the end of the game. Okay, 56 minutes in. Okay, so I'm going to get the magnet and then... Oh, wait. We have a conversation with Bess and George. Then I grab the magnet. Then I have a conversation with Shorty. And then he has me pick more fruit for him. I mean vegetables. You found a phantom horse again? Was anything sabotaged? The power lines going to the ranch house were either cut or were otherwise disconnected from the house. You mean you don't have electricity? We have a generator. It's pretty noisy, but it sure beats the alternative. But listen to this. When I was exploring the ghost town, I got this powdery stuff all over my gloves. And last night, when it was dark, my gloves were glowing. Glowing? Like the horse? Exactly like the horse. Maybe it glows because someone rubbed some kind of phosphorescent powder all over it. And if you found that stuff in the ghost town, that must be where he or she has been hanging out. Which is why I think I'll go back out there first chance I get. So I wonder what and percentage of this game is conversations, and what percentage is uh, doing chores. You can probably figure out based on this video. You know, because, uh, you yeah, know, this video is basically beating the game as quickly as possible. Well, the fog is finally lifted. And with some minor, minor cheats. What they won't say is when. That's it for now. Stay in touch. Like those, those phone conversations from out of nowhere. You're, you're actually supposed to take a trip all the way back to Mary Yazzie's. last night, you'd be long gone. I know I would be you know, to make those phone conversations. So I saved myself trips back and forth from different areas. Fear something's gonna blow up, and if that generator goes, I could be cooking in the dark for days, weeks. Well, not weeks, because no way am I staying here that long. I'm so freaked out now, I'm not sure I can last one more day. You can't leave, Shorty. That's exactly what whoever's behind all these accidents wants. Listen to you. Cool, calm, optimistic. I'm a wreck and you're a rock. Of course, you're also dead wrong and totally deluded, but I'm still impressed. Want me to do anything before I go riding? Same old, same old. If you bring me all the ripe stuff from the garden, I'll give you a basket to fill up with eggs. And once you're done with that, you'll be good to go. Well, I'd better get going. Pleasure talking to you. Don't think we have much to do here. Um, you know... Of course she wasn't there before. Maybe the ghost horse threw it while it was running away last night. Just chores from Shorty here, I think. Uh, Tex is also going to have chores for us to do. Uh, 
grab all of those. Okay. It's so hot, I should get these vegetables into Shorty right away. Pick those vegetables for me yet? You betcha. Good for you. Now, if you just fill that egg basket for me again, we'll be all set. Well, I'd better get going. Come back soon. Alright, eggs, eggs over here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we're gonna need to get another egg from that one chicken that doesn't like me very much. Okay, gave the chicken time to leave. Okay, finish with Shorty. Good for you. Anything I can do for you now? Could I get a canteen of water from you? You betcha. You're good to go. And then we need to finish with Tex. Well, I'd better get going. Drop by any time. Tex has a jigsaw puzzle for us. Who oh boy, jigsaw puzzles. Just grabbing my gear ahead of time. Something. Is it okay if I go riding? Nope. I took a bridle apart, oiled the pieces, and left them in that can on the shelf. You can't ride till you get the bridle put back together right. I put the bit next to the can. Talk to you later. Just stay out of trouble. I, I always stay out of trouble. Okay, there's the headstall. Now, let's see. How does I'm Nancy know her. what that's called? Because I don't know what it's called. Well, I mean, that now I know right. what it's called because Nancy said it, but I, I, I wouldn't have known it myself. A head stole. That looks right. Left. This goes here. Right. I'm getting there. Perfect. Need something. I put that bridle back together. Now may I go riding? Yep. Okay, cool. Talk to you later. Yahoo. Yahoo. Come on, Bob. Pretty straightforward. Now I'm I'm going off to have adventures at um, you know, Kathy's the place where we were uh just yesterday. Now, you know, you know, Dave did say it's like about an hour and a half away from the house, so, you know, hour and a half and back, so probably, you know, it takes three hours to get there and back, maybe, or maybe it's just an hour and a half uh, round trip. Either way, Nancy, Nancy's doing a lot of writing. Maybe this is the key to the jail cell. <laughs> Nancy talking while getting knocked unconscious. Yeah, so. so far, so good. Solving this puzzle under. I'm getting there. Bank. Lamp. Very good. Thank you, Nancy. Under bank lamp. I feel like she's like patronizing me with these, um, you know, you know, very good. I that's the key. I'm like seriously, Nancy. I don't need the encouragement. I know how to solve this puzzle. If that or I, I, I did like the first 10 letters by guessing and, you know, she was worried about that. Uh, okay, two, two, throw. Lasso, lasso. Come to mama. Whoever clobbered me must have dropped this. Too hot okay, we don't really need that. It's not that important. But um, under bank lamp, uh, that is important. So let's let's get the thing there. This is going to give us. There's a letter down there. Did you know you can play some game? Ba do It's it's the message about the ring at Cappy's. Um, so we are going to leave here, and I'm forgetting where I'm going. So let me just go to Mary Yazzie's here. I'm going to Dave's. Okay, okay, so I meet Dave. Right, okay. 
Dave has to be important, right? So uh, we're going to Dave now, and we're going to get his ring, and then we're going to go all the way back to Cappy's in order to use the ring on the machine in order to uh, have a puzzle. Cool. Now, true, you could do things in a different order. You could try to go to Zebra Rock first. Uh, I mean, that's always possible. Uh-oh, did I drop this thing? Oh, did I not get the magnet like I was supposed to? I forgot the magnet. Oh, jeez. But I think I think this order is faster because you're, you're uh, you know, I, I think it's a little faster to go to Cappy's before going to Zebra Rock. You, you could do them in either order. Okay, Dave. Hello, Nancy. Thanks for fixing that fence. What can I do for you? Did your great aunt, by any chance, leave you a ring? Sure did. It was her most prized possession. In fact, I got it right here. Seems to me Aunt Ellie said Francis had one just like it. I keep it on me for good luck. I know this is a lot to ask, but do you think I could borrow it for a while? Borrow it? What for? It's kind of a long story. Just take care of it, okay? Okay. I'll let you get back to work. Appreciate it. Cool. Uh, now off on the road again. So that's basically it for Dave. Come on, Bob. Yeah, come on, Bob. We're going out. Okay, okay, so what am I doing now? Okay, use cappies on the machine. Yep, 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 this is simple. I'm running out of things to say. It's late. I'm tired. It's past my bedtime, you know. You know, tomorrow's a school, school day. I I'm not going to school, but it still is a Andrew, school day, even if I'm not going, right? Because tomorrow's Monday. Okay, so here is where I save my game. Because this is one point in the game where you could just lose, and it is just horrible sadness, nastiness everywhere. Okay, we're making nice people, nice people, nice people. Ooh, could win. Mean Janine turns to Sweet Sue! Yes! Okay, okay, so. We have the key for the zebra rock thing. Uh, the, the, uh, I'm getting that definite feeling I'm not alone. The key for uh, the thing which you can get at zebra rock. And like I said, we could have gone to zebra rock and gotten it uh, sooner. I just didn't for whatever reason. Well, no, it's because after Zebra Rock, I'm going to have to go all the way to uh, the uh, the other place. Yeah, right. I'm smart. Okay, cool. Okay, you're going to have to do the cheat here. Cool. Minor cheat there. Just have to be very careful. Just don't touch the edges. Don't touch the edges. And this is going into... Silicon. Come on, Silicon. Work with me. Great. Okay. And then copper is going to go into the green one, so copper has a long way to go. Okay, that was relatively painless. Cool. Uh, iron is going to go to orange. Let's go this route. As you can see, there are multiple routes we can take, but this one looks slightly faster. And obviously, 
obviously this is purple. Not the easiest puzzle ever, especially if you have those boards along the way, but still also kind of difficult, even if... Okay, so this is the, uh, this is the puzzle. So I skipped, I skipped several puzzles leading up to this one to, to learn about the flowers. So I, I did the time saver, not doing the puzzle with Bess and George, not doing the puzzle at Mary Yazzie's, uh, not doing whatever other puzzle, not doing the sewing puzzle with uh, like the favorite stitch that she used to wear. Um, not looking at Dave's piece of paper, which gives you a clue. Not doing the puzzle with Charlena, which, um, you know, is investigating the um, specific brand of crackers that she likes. Basically, huge time saver. Looks like a secret compartment. You hold this. Ah, oh, no, I dropped the key. Beautiful. On the paper you got when you first began, draw lines between the pictures shown here. If you draw them in order, you'll find something you need behind the picture that you make appear. V for Valentine, no doubt. Yeah, it could have been V for, um, I don't know, vinegar. He likes vinegar. Go on your horse, Nancy. Okay, so this is why I decided to do the uh, zebra rock thing last. It's because when I do the zebra rock thing after Cappy's, I'm really close to where I need to go, namely here at the uh, at the uh, the petroglyph place. Wait a minute, wrong one, right? No, 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 right one. Okay, where where is my rope? Where's my rope? Okay, an hour and 11 minutes so far. Should be able to beat this game. Yeah, 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 I'm definitely beating this game in under an hour and a half. At Charlie's, it's a rock. Oh, do, 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 do. Yeah, end game sequence coming up. Go back to Mary's, uh, very simple. You go to Mary's, you have the rock polished, then you go, uh, you have a conversation with Bess and George, then you go back to the trail stop, and uh, from there you go to the end game maze. I, I have the uh, solution written out. Hi, can I help you with something? I found this piece of rock in the desert. I'd really like to get the scuff marks off of it. Looks like it's been polished before. If I put it in the polisher, it'll buff up in no time. Let me see what I can do. It's a picture agate. Great. Thanks, Mary. It was great talking to you. Catch you later. Yeah, fantastic talking to you. Hello? We're booked on a flight to Phoenix. Oh, right. The bad news is the flight's been delayed. Here we go again. The plane that's supposed to fly us out of here is sitting on a tarmac in New Jersey waiting to take off. It's like 93rd in line or something. So what are you doing, Nance? Have you figured out who's behind the sabotage yet? Not yet. But I think I am getting close to finding Dirk Valentine's treasure. All I have to do is go where the picture on this agate takes me and I'll be all set. The picture on this what? It's a long story. I'm tempted to ask you to wait until George and I get there, but I know that'd be like asking an Olympic speed skater to slow down. Just be prepared to tell us all about it. All right, I'll see you guys later. Have fun. Wish you were here. Kidding. Alrighty. Getting excited because I'm at the end of the game. Uh, should be able to be an hour and 20 minutes if, if, um, if everything goes well. Huh? Use the agate, Nancy. Why didn't you use that earlier? Uh... 
That tree looks just like the one on the agate. I think I'll grab Bob and head out in that direction. Question mark. Cool. So Nancy's going to get up here using her lariat. I guess she just leaves her lariat yes. there because the culprit is able to it follow her. Awesome. Okay, those are the directions. Okay, path is going to be brown, then lime. Do I have a key here? No, okay, brown, lime, and key. Now orange room for key. Okay, yellow, red, and then key. So that's... Yellow, red... Key. Now we're gonna have a huge gap. Okay, blue, orange, lime, yellow, brown. Flip around. Ha ha. Okay, so where was I? Okay, lime. Orange. Sorry, this is kind of boring, but it, it's basically following the instructions. Really no way to speed this up or make it more interesting. Uh, orange. Blue. Yellow. Lime. Blue. Yikes. Falling that, down there would not be fun. Didn't mean to click there. You can beat the game without clicking in that area. Okay, and now just run to the end. This goes here. That doesn't go there. <coughs> right? Ugh. Ugh. This goes here. That looks right. This goes here. Okay. Alright, now we're going to have a conversation with the culprit, and I'm going to get ready with my timer, uh, 117, wow. 30. Okay. Find the treasure yet? So the timer officially so stops as soon as it's game over. Uh, the ending That's sequence right. doesn't really count as part of uh, the time, because no matter who pie. plays the game, you're going to have to sit through the entire ending sequence. The so we could tear the place apart looking for the treasure. When all we really had to do was what I just got done doing. Follow you. You went to a lot of trouble for nothing. The treasure's gone. Well, now, I don't believe you, Miss Nancy. See, why didn't he believe me? Really? Really? Shorty. And I just ran yours off. Which means you, to use an old cooking expression, are toast. That's what you think. Looks to me like the only way out is the way you came in, Nancy. So, ready or not, here I come. There's got to be a way to stop Shorty. Think! Think, Nancy, think. Thanks for announcing yeah. your moves ahead of time, Shorty. Last door. After I get the treasure, I'll deal with you. Oh, I guess this is technically the end. Okay, I guess Whoa! I should have stopped my stopwatch. You switched markers on me, didn't you? That was downright mean, Nancy. Because, uh, yeah, this... Okay, here we go. At least you can do is help me off of here. How about it? Nah, I'll end I the timer when the, the show, letter appears. Let help you off of there. There we go, 119.07. So that's how long it took me to beat the game. 119.07? Which was really just a trick horse that a friend of one of his bank robber buddies had trained. Since my horse was gone and it was getting dark... I wound up riding it back to the ranch so I could call the sheriff. You should have seen the look on everyone's face when I rode up on a glowing horse. 
It looks like the phosphorescent powder that they used to make it glow was harmless, but Tex is taking care of the horse until he's sure it's okay. Mary Yazzie has straightened everything out with the Rollies, and now she comes over... So that's it. Um, uh, let me see. Do I have any final comments? Not really. I don't think there's any... Uh, major tricks you can do to uh, beat the game. If you could figure out how to solve the cashmere puzzle without calling Charlena, that would be a saver. That would save you about three minutes, maybe. Um, three to four minutes. But other than that, I don't think there's really much room for improvement. You have all the chores that you have to do and you can't skip. And that's... Unfortunately, Dave took it. That's mainly it, I think. Uh, if you have any suggestions on what I could do to uh, beat the game more quickly, just just leave your suggestions in the comments. I always appreciate those, uh, you know, comments. I, I always like to uh, improve my work and see how I can do even better. And I am Rocket for being super speedy. Yay! Hooray! So thank you for watching, everybody.